Extrude is one of, if not the most common sketch-based feature used in 3D modeling. Let's take a look at how it works here in Onshape. Here I have a sketch prepared with a handful of closed profile shapes. Sketches containing many profiles are incredibly common in Onshape, allowing you to intuitively sketch the shape you're looking for, plus any details you wish, and use just portions of the sketch for any 3D feature, whether it's for adding or removing geometry. When I click the Extrude icon, a pop-up appears where you can define the options and parameters for the feature. Here I can select any regions of the sketch and by default a blind end condition is selected where I can enter a value, flip the direction, or use the arrow in the graphics area. Of course, there are also other end conditions such as symmetric, up to next, up to surface, etc. For now, I'll set it to blind and enter a value. The extrude command is powerful in that you can accomplish quite a few outcomes from the single command. For instance, the add and remove options, as you would expect, will either add material or remove material to the part you're working with. If I add this additional contour to the selection window, you can see how the remove option makes a cut into the part. The Intersect option leaves you with just the intersecting geometry, which can be extremely powerful in certain design approaches, and the New option will result in an additional body, and in the case of Onshape, a new part here in this part studio. For now, I'll use the Add option. In this next field below, you can specify what this new geometry will be merged with, which comes into play much more when using a multi-part design approach. But in this case, since this part studio only contains a single part, that's what this extrude will be merged with. Take a look here at the preview slider. As I slide it from one end to the other, you can see how the preview goes from transparent to opaque, which allows you to quickly visualize the before and after of the feature you're creating. You can also specify whether you'd like to extrude the profile as a solid or a surface. For this feature, I'd like to create the extrude as a solid. At this point, I'll click OK, and the extrude is added to the features list. I'll go ahead and rename it. Next, to make a counter bore hole here, I can reuse another contour from this same sketch. I'll launch the extrude command, and I'll select the circular profile. This time, I'll select the remove option. And for the end condition, I do have the option for through all available which would cut through the entire part, but I'll again set this to blind and enter a value. At this point, I can hide the sketch and rename the cut I just made. As with any feature or sketch in Onshape, you can always come back to make changes simply by double-clicking on it in the features list.